DJ, 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 you're on that, uh, that Tiki Talk app, right? Tiki Talk? Uh, you mean TikTok. Man, you know what I meant. Don't be extra. Just check this out here. Okay, okay. I'll watch it. Jeez, I'll watch it. Yeah, no 12-year-old can actually beat up a fully grown man. Those black belts are full of crap. Well, I mean, is that really what a black belt means? <sighs> you sound like my mom. <laughs> wow, hurtful. You're gonna do a whole video talking about this, aren't you? Um, nah, nah, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna do that. I wasn't gonna do that. DJ? No, I wasn't, I wasn't. <gasps> Maybe. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja YouTube channel. This is the channel where we talk about basically all things martial arts. Now as many of you guys know, I have a TikTok account. I mean, I feel like a lot of you found me on TikTok first, even though my YouTube is technically older. So I'm sure most of you are aware of my TikTok account. And the martial arts community had a big topic come up in the last couple uh, days, maybe a week or two in terms of whether or not a kid should be allowed to have a black belt. Now, obviously, there were a lot of people talking about the topic. Pretty much everyone on Martial Arts TikTok had something to say on this subject matter. And if you want to see their individual opinions on this subject, then you should probably go check out their videos because that's going to be way more detailed on what they think. But it seems like everyone kind of got into one of three different categories. However, the HBO category is the one category everyone fell into. What does the HBO category mean? Well, it's the help a brother out category. So while you're here, help brother out and like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. But now for the real category. The category seemed to be children should not be allowed to have black belts. Children should be allowed to have black belts, and another, children should not be allowed to have black belts, but for a different reason. And of course, I'll give you my opinion on the matter, but first, let's get into the different sides of the argument, at least the way I see it. So starting off with the first group of people that think that black belts should not be given to children, the reason for this is because a child can't use those techniques effectively against the average full-grown adult. This reasoning follows the thought process that a black belt means you should be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with pretty much anyone who would challenge you, or at least the average person if they would challenge you. Well, we fight alone, or all together. It'll just take me to show you. <laughs> And so your training needs to be able to be used in a combat setting and actually work. And that's an absolutely fair thought process. Children on average are not strong enough to be able to hold their own against a full grown adult. And I mean, your average 12 year old boy clocks in at around 90 pounds. And that's less than what a lot of people can bench in their 20s and 30s. Plus the fact that they usually stand just around 58 inches or just under five feet and that really helps to kind of push that point that they are not ready for combat against full grown adults. However, I do have a problem with this thought process. If a black belt symbolizes your combat prowess, then there's a lot more people other than children that can't get a black belt. Elderly people can't be a black belt. So if you reach 85, sorry, a black belt is now invalid. Sick or injured people can't be a black belt. So if you were injured while you were in the military, Sorry. If you're just too short or light and you don't have the reach or power behind your techniques, sorry, doesn't count. Maybe people with severe asthma or people that are overweight. Nope and nope. And the list goes on and on about people that wouldn't be able to have a black belt that are generally allowed to have black belts the way we do it today. So I don't know that thinking that the black belt represents combat prowess is the correct way to think. Which brings me to the second category that people will fall under. They believe that basically as long as someone puts in the work and learns the material, they can earn a black belt. This means that anyone old or young could be a black belt. Anyone with disabilities or illnesses can be a black belt because the black belt symbolizes 
the hard work they put in and the knowledge that they know about the style that they trained in. Now, first glance to me, this sounds pretty great. And for a long time, this is how I actually saw the subject matter personally. But it does leave something pretty important out of the conversation. And if you've been paying attention to my videos so far, then you will know that it leads me to the final group that most people will fall under. Yes, they are back to believing that children should not be black belts, but that's not because they can't fight adults. It's slightly more nuanced than that. The reason is due to the maturity level that is common in children. Kids are kids, there's no getting around that. And they can be irresponsible, immature, rash, rude, and careless. And by no means am I saying this is, you know, crazy or bad or, or, or their fault. I mean, they're kids. This is the point in their life where they're learning how to be a, a functional and successful adult in their later years. But people in this category tend to believe that being a black belt requires a certain level of discipline that many kids just do not have. And for that reason, children should not have a black belt. Now, personally, I agree with pretty much everything people in that category think, except for the fact that kids shouldn't have black belts. Um, DJ, that makes no sense. You said it yourself. Many kids just don't have the discipline that a black belt requires. Well, yeah, but the same can be said for adults. Anyone can lack discipline, a 12-year-old boy or his 30-year-old parents. But I believe that martial arts is supposed to teach you that just as they teach you how to punch and kick. I would never allow a white belt of any age to test for their black belt and expect them to actually perform punches and kicks like they've been training for years. As their instructor, it's kind of my job to teach them and prepare them for what is expected. And the same goes for discipline. It's my job as a teacher to teach my students at any age the discipline they need to have in order to be a black belt. Now, adults may be more likely to already have the discipline required and children may be more likely to need to focus more time on learning that discipline, but that doesn't change anything. Because at the end of the day, a black belt needs discipline. And furthermore, that doesn't actually just go for black belts. That goes for every rank above white belt. I I wouldn't expect a green belt to punch like a white belt, and I wouldn't expect a green belt to act like a white belt. And so this may result in adults progressing through the ranks faster than children on average, but it doesn't mean that children can't have a black belt, it just means it may take them a little longer. So I can't give a definitive answer to the question. This obviously goes for, you know, each individual instructor and how they want to run their school, but I believe that kids can absolutely earn a black belt. But don't feel like you have to agree with me. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Why do you think what you think? I'd love to have the conversation down in the comments below. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.